In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. Join Apostle John Udo today as he teaches the Word that was with God and is now with us for our transformation. Apostle John Udo, worth hearing. I pray you have your way today and I thank you because you always hear us when we call blessed be your name forevermore in Jesus name we pray today is the last day of our seven days of prayers and today we're going to be activating the favor of God activating the favor of god i'll be starting with the book of psalm chapter 90 psalm chapter 90 from verse 12 the book of psalm 90 from verse 12 so teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom i pray that the lord will teach you to number your days and be able to apply your heart unto wisdom can i hear you louder amen. amen i'll repeat that prayer for each and every one of us the lord teach us to number our days amen. that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom amen return O lord how long and let it repent thee concerning thy servants verse 14 oh satisfy us early with thy mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days i will pray that for you i pray for you in the name of jesus mercy. that the lord will satisfy you early with his mercy amen can i hear your bigger amen amen the lord satisfy you early with his mercy amen and you will rejoice and be glad all your days amen in the name of jesus amen verse 15 make us glad according to the days wherein thou has afflicted us and the years wherein we have seen evil i pray for you that the lord will make you glad according to the days of troubles that you have seen in your life verse 16 let thy work appear unto thy servants and thy glory unto their children verse 17 and let the beauty of the lord our god be upon us and establish thou the work of our hands upon us yea the work of our hands establish thou it praise the name of the lord now we're going to be praying with verse 17 it says and let the beauty of the lord be upon us the word beauty there the root word for beauty there one of the key words for it is favor it's not directly beauty as it's written here but it's actually the favor of god when you check the meaning of beauty here you'll find out that the key word one of the key words for beauty is the favor 
of God. And so what we are going to be doing is that we're going to be asking for the favor of the Lord our God to be upon us. And look at what the Bible says here. When that favor of the Lord our God is upon us, what will be happening to us is that the work of our hands will be established upon us. That means everything you lay your hand upon to do will be established in heaven and will work out for you on earth so that everything you do according to psalm chapter one everything you do will prosper whether it's big or small once it comes into your hand it must prosper hallelujah so i'll read it one more time and then we're gonna pray it and let the favor of the lord our god be upon us and establish thou the work of our hands upon us yea establish establish the work of our hands upon us hallelujah so i want you to say after me in the name of jesus in the name of jesus oh lord, oh lord. let your beauty be upon me let your beauty be upon me let your beauty be upon my family let your beauty be upon my family and establish the work of our hands and establish the work of our hands open your mouth and pray that prayer oh lord my god let your faith be upon
There is one thing that favor does for a person it is that favor makes life to become easy for you favor it makes life to become easy for you while others are struggling for things those things are coming to you effortlessly yes, sir. i am praying for you that the kind of favor you receive today will make life easy for you Amen. so that what would have taken others the next three to five years to get before this year is over you would have gotten it already Amen. because the favor of the lord has located you Amen. in the name of the lord jesus christ Amen. now the next prayer of favor you're going to pray is for favor to surround you so that on every side around you the favor of god is at work Praise the name of the Lord. So let's open our Bibles to the book of Psalm chapter 5 verse 12. Psalm chapter 5 verse 12. For thou Lord will bless the righteous. And how is he going to bless the righteous look at the next line this is how he's going to bless the righteous with favor will thou compass him as with a shield glory be to god he says you will bless the righteous and this is how you're going to do it you are going to surround him with favor as with a shield are you ready to pray this prayer yes sir. i want you to say after me oh lord my god oh lord my god come past me with favor like a shield open your mouth and pray that prayer oh lord come past me with favor as with a shield my
Jesus name we pray Amen. I am praying for you that from today henceforth to the right to the left to the front to the back all around the favor of God will surround you Amen. The favor of God surround every member of your family. Amen. The favor of God will not just be a blessing around you, it will be a defense around you. Amen. The Bible says it surrounds you like a shield. So the favor is blessing you and the favor is defending you from every evil. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now the next prayer of favor you're going to pray is in Psalm chapter 39 verse 5. Psalm chapter 39 verse 5. Mandrakni Shodavaha. Here I am down on my knees. I pray surrendering all Shetabaya. Surrendering.
was wondering why the Lord just dropped that song in my spirit to sing but I, I began to sing anyway and then suddenly I saw the Lord Jesus embracing certain people in this place and the Lord began to speak to me that there are people who have been feeling lonely and isolated in life as if everything is against them and nobody really cares nothing is really working for them and the Lord is saying to me this is why I'm embracing them I'm embracing them to let them know that I am with them I'm embracing them to let them know that I have not forsaken them and that things are going to begin to turn around for good for them so this is the embrace of the Lord thank you Holy Spirit to tell you this scripture it says can a woman forget her second child that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb yes she may but I the Lord your God will not forget you it says your walls are continually before me and you are inscribed in the palm of my hand so do not worry yourself and do not be stressed because the Lord is in charge of your life and all things are going to work together for good for you and you will be standing in the midst of your dreams very soon and you will be able to say see what God has done Father thank you for your intervention in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ I pray Amen. Psalm chapter 39 verse 5 For his anger lasts only a moment But his favor lasts a lifetime Weeping may endure for the night But rejoicing comes in the morning The King James Version says his anger endures for a moment and uh, it does not specifically say that his favor lasts for a lifetime but I love this translation I'm using it says his favor lasts for a lifetime that means when it starts it's not going to stop and that's what we're going to pray for today the kind of favor that will start today and for the rest of your life it will still be working you will even bequeath it to your sons and to your daughters it will be a lifetime of favor that will continue listen it is what you ask for that you receive i want you to say after me in the name of jesus Oh Lord, oh Lord, bless me with the kind of favor. Bless me with the, with the kind, kind of, of favor, favor that will last for a lifetime. That will last, last for a lifetime. Life. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. The kind of favor that will last for a lifetime. Let it rest upon you. Shut up, 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 shut up
we pray Amen. let me read it directly from the king james version again for you psalm 30 verse 5 i think i mentioned 39 earlier on but it's psalm 30 verse 5 he says for his anger endured but a moment in his favor is life but the other translation says in his favor last his favor lasts for a lifetime and so it says weeping may endure for a night but joy cometh in the morning so the solution to the weeping was the favor of a lifetime that god released and that simply means that in your life part time the solution to anything that makes you cry is for the favor of god to intervene in your life once the favor of god intervenes and intersects joy comes in the morning because the favor of god brings the solution that guarantees that you will wake up in the morning rejoicing yes, because the weeping and the sorrow has been terminated i want you to say this prayer after me in this pattern in the name of jesus in the name, name of, of jesus, jesus i receive i receive the favor of a lifetime, the favor of a lifetime that terminates my weeping and gives me joy. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Oh my God. I receive the favor of a lifetime that terminates my weeping, that terminates my sorrows, and gives me joy of a lifetime. I want us to read on to verse 6 and verse 7 of Psalm chapter 30 as we discover the other things that the favor of God releases to God's people. Now the favor has been released in verse 5 and the Bible says, And in my prosperity, I said I shall never be moved. How did the prosperity come? It came because of the favor that was released in verse 5. And when he got the favor, prosperity came. And now he says, in my prosperity, I shall not be moved. You are going to pray for the kind of favor that releases and activates prosperity in your life. If you remember the story of the children of Israel in Exodus chapter 12, from verse 36 to 37, the Bible says, and God granted the children of Israel favor before the Egyptian that everything they asked 
for the Egyptians gave it to them uh, until they plundered the Egyptians and then they journeyed out of Egypt so the favor of God brought them prosperity and the psalmist says here in my prosperity I said I shall not be moved I want you to say after me in the name of Jesus the kind of favor the kind of favor that activates prosperity that activates prosperity I receive you today I receive it today open your mouth and pray that prayer I receive you today. I receive you today. I receive you today. I receive you I Open your Bibles to the book of Psalm 106. I'm going to be reading verse 4. Psalm 106, verse 4. It says, Remember me, O Lord, with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people. Oh, visit me with thy salvation. You're going to be praying for God to remember you with the kind of favor that he gives to his people. He doesn't give it to everybody. That is the kind of favor that was requested for in Psalm 102 verse 13. When the Bible says, Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor her has come. Yea, even the set time. There was a specific kind of favor for Zion that was needed. And so the psalmist had to pray. He said, remember me, O Lord, with the kind 
kind of favor that kind of favor that is specially for your people hallelujah i want you to say after me oh lord, oh lord remember me remember me with the kind of favor, kind of favor, of favor that is reserved for your people is reserved reserved for your people open your mouth and pray that prayer oh lord remember me with the kind of favor that is reserved only for your people We pray. Amen. We are going to repeat that prayer through another translation. It says, Psalm 106, verse 4. It says, Remember me, Lord, when you show favor to your people. So every time God is showing favor to his special people, God must remember you also. Hallelujah. So say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name, of, the name Jesus. of Jesus. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Remember me remember, remember me when you show favor to your people when you show favor open your mouth and pray that prayer 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 open your mouth and pray that prayer
Jesus name we pray Amen. Amen. Psalm chapter 41 verse 9 I mean Genesis chapter 41 verse 9 then spake the chief butler unto Pharaoh saying I do remember my fault this day Psalm chapter 41 verse 9 I do remember my fault this day. What fault did he remember? He remembered that there was a man in prison called Joseph that should not be in the prison. He was not guilty and he was locked there. He remembered a man that had done him good when he was in the prison. He had forgotten Joseph for about two years, left him in prison to suffer but suddenly he remembered and that remembrance brought joseph to the place where he could obtain favor immediately he stood before pharaoh favor began to speak for him and he was elevated to become the number two man in the land of egypt you see when that favor worked in the prison it only end him a thank you we just told him thank you but when the same favor walked in the palace it earned him a great position do you understand me so where the favor finds you to work for you matters a lot so we're going to pray the next set of prayers the first one we're going to pray is that you're going to activate circumstances that will bring you to your place of great favor your place where favor can work for you mightily it took an activation of this circumstance for the king to dream and then the butler was there when the king was asking who, who can interpret the dream and he remembered joseph that circumstance had to be orchestrated for joseph to be brought there i want you to say after me in the name of jesus in the name, in the name of, jesus, of jesus i activate the right circumstances i activate the right circumstances i activate the right circumstances that will bring me into my place that will bring me into my place of great favor of great favor of the amount and better prayer in the name of Jesus I activate the right circumstances that will bring me into my place of great we pray amen. amen david killed 
a lion. Nobody heard it. He killed a bear. Nobody celebrated him. Until he killed a Goliath in the presence of those that matter. So it's not about what you kill. It's about where you kill it. Do you understand what I'm talking about? It's not about what you kill, but where you kill it. When he killed the right thing in the right place and they saw him, the song began. And that led to the elevation of David. You are going to be praying that the favor of God should bring you into the circle where your talents can matter. Uh-huh. Where your gifts can matter. How can a man kill a lion and kill a bear and nobody celebrated him? Nobody remembered him. He still remained a poor shepherd. But God organized the Goliath for him to kill at the right place. Where the right people that matter could see him. And after that, everybody began to shout the name of David. I want you to say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By your favor, oh Lord. By your favor, oh Lord. Bring me into the right place. Bring me into the right place. Bring me into the right circle. Bring me into the right cycle. Where my talent can manifest. Where my talent can manifest. And be identified. And be identified. By those that matter. Those that matter. Open your mouth and pray. God is bringing you to the place where your skill can be identified where your abilities can bring you to see and he goes so boy 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 and he we pray amen listen to me what you have will work for you amen that grace that talent that skill that ability that you have from god it will be exposed for the right people to see from today forward it didn't matter how beautiful esther was as long as she did not step into the palace of the king for the king to see her it was wasted but when god orchestrated the right circumstance and she stepped in there the king favored her and accepted her as his wife i am praying for somebody here those that need to identify you will identify you I say those that need to see you will see you. Those that need to connect with you will connect with you. In the name of Jesus. I was I was praying for a young man. I stepped into his house to pray for him, and his younger brother was around. And I looked at the younger brother. I said, "Are you a footballer? I'm seeing you playing abroad." And he said, "Yes, I'm a footballer." I said, "Get ready, you are relocating abroad." And so he traveled from Abuja to Lagos. And uh, one of those days, he decided to join his friends and play football on the field. And he played and played, and he knows how to play so well. And after the game, a man called him and said i'm 
going to sponsor your brother i've been watching all of you but i like the way you you play i have the connections uh, with a club side abroad and the man arranged everything and sent him abroad the right person saw him playing and that was what changed his life can i pray this prayer for somebody here yes sir the right person that needs to see you in order for you to be promoted i command that person to see you listen you can have the right cv with every qualification but the question is who is seeing the cv who is looking at the cv the right people will begin to see your cv the right companies will begin to see your cv Jesus. Every power that covers your beauty, that covers your talent, that covers your glory, that covers your CV, so that the right people cannot see it. I remove them now. I remove them now. I remove them now. The Bible says, No one lights a candle and puts it under a bush. Yes, sir. The candle is supposed to be on a candle stand so that everyone can see it yes, and enjoy the light. What's the use of a candle being lighted and then you hide it sir, inside a cupboard? And so nobody is seeing the light. Nobody is appreciating the light of the candle. I am praying for you. Everywhere they have hidden you. They have hidden your talent. Hidden your beauty. Hidden your CV. Hidden your anointing. In the name of Jesus, I bring you out. I bring you out. I bring you out. I bless you on your candle stand. I bless you on your candle stand in the name of Jesus Amen. and bless you where you will be visible Amen. your helpers will now see you Amen. your benefactors will now see you Amen. those that should help you accomplish that thing will now connect with you Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. A sister could not get married. She was over 40 years old. She was our member in our church in Abuja. And uh, one day she came home and my wife prayed for her, took her through a deliverance session, broke the yoke upon her life, and then told her to go that the case was settled the next day she left for work and as she entered the public transport to go to work for the first time in her life the a young man sitting in front turned and looked at her and said sister you are so beautiful nobody had ever told her in over 40 years that she was beautiful nobody had ever she almost fainted when the man said she, she was beautiful she had to ask am i the one you are talking to and the guy said yes it's you i'm talking to can i have your number she was like my number ha! for the first time in her life because the veil had been removed and now she could stand on a candle stand and be seen i am praying for somebody in the house oh. anything covering you yeah, i remove them now hey. anything covering your destiny i remove them now hey. in the name of jesus hey. the favor of god is upon you seeing amazing connections coming to somebody amazing connections are coming
coming to you. Amazing connections are coming to you. Receive them in the name of Jesus. Listen, the Lord says I should tell somebody here because of the delays you have suffered, He is giving you a kind of favor that will deliver to you in the next three months what you have been looking for in the past ten years. Hey. If I were you, I would be shouting a louder amen. Hey. Listen. Count from the day, the next three months, the things you've not been able to accomplish in the last ten years of your life. As the Lord lives before you, my spirit, you will accomplish them. Hey. I'm praying for somebody here that this oil of favor that I see, this oil of favor that I see. Let it now be poured upon your head. Amen. Lift up your hands. I'm seeing people being anointed with the oil of favor. Some of you will begin to feel like a fire on your head. 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 This is the oil of favor. Listen to me. The Lord says I should tell you that great things will be committed into your hands from today forward. You know that was what happened to Joseph in the house of Potiphar. Because of the favor of God, Potiphar committed great things into his hands. As the Lord lives before whom I stand, people that matter will commit great things into your hands. Amen. People that matter will entrust great things into your hands. Amen. Receive it in the name. Hey, I still see that oil pouring, pouring like rain, pouring like rain. Listen, 
listen the lord says i should tell you that he is raising people for you that will favor your cause i pray that prayer for you the lord raised for you people that will favor your cause amen people that will take your matter upon their head amen and will champion your matter till you get what you need amen we receive those kinds of people in the name of jesus amen. can you lift up your voices and begin to bless the name of the lord I touch your wrist, and life has changed. I will never be the same. I touch your wrist, and life has changed. I will never be the same. I touch your wrist, and life has changed. Celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Have your seat in the presence of God. Let's give our offerings, our thanksgiving unto the Lord. Seven days of glory. Hallelujah. Those of you watching online, I believe the favor of God has taken over your life. Let's give our offerings. Those online, you will see the bank account to pay your offering to. Glory be to God. What a mighty God we serve. The Bible says, Seed time and harvest shall not cease as long as the heavens remain. So, in the name of Jesus Christ, as you sow your seed, receive your harvest. Thank you, my Father, because you have done it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's quickly give our offerings. Glory be to God. Now, I'm going to be praying for those that are sick. You're having any kind of health challenge i'm going to be praying for you right now even right where you are both those watching online and those in the house and those in the overflow as i pray for you right now the bible says he sent his word so his word can come to you wherever you are and heal them and deliver them from their destruction 
so the word of the lord is coming to you to heal you the word of the lord is coming to you to deliver you from your destruction so, so just raise your hand wherever you are and those of you watching online stretch your hands towards me as i'm praying if you have any kind of health challenge no matter the name of the health challenge you're going to be healed instantly instantly even if you are in the hospital watching me right now the power of god is coming upon you right there in the hospital and you're going to get up from the sick bed and begin to walk as soon as i begin to pray because you're going to be totally healed and delivered father i thank you for your healing anointing i am the lord that healed thee oh lord let that healing flow to your people right now I command every sickness in the body to depart right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I decree by the power of the living God that anything that causes sicknesses in your body be taken away from your body right now you demons and you devils that are responsible for those afflictions in the body in the name of jesus i cast you out and i declare by the stripes of jesus you are healed i command that terminal disease to disappear i command that heart condition to disappear i command the trouble with the ears to disappear partial blindness i command you to leave the problem with the throat i command you to leave the swelling in that part of the body i command you to dissolve and disappear i command infection to go i command diseases in the lungs to disappear i command fibroid and cyst to leave in the name of the lord jesus Barrenness, I command you to disappear. Every kind of blood disease, I command you to vanish. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Every challenge in the head, in the brain, I command you to disappear in the name of Jesus. Parkinson disease, I command you to go in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every problem with the kidney, kidney challenge, I command you to leave in the name of Jesus. Every challenge with the bone, with the marrow, I command you to cease in the name of Jesus. Whatever the medical report might be, I decree by the power of God. Whatever the medical might, the report might be, I decree by the power of God. It is cancelled right now. The Son of God has set you free. You are free indeed. In the name of Jesus. That land challenge. I declare the challenge is now ending in your favor that financial challenge you are having you have need of money so much for several things but there is no money from anywhere and it looks like you will be put to shame you will be taken to court you will be taken to the prison you will be disgraced I now call for miraculous financial provisions I call for miraculous financial provision. I don't know about others, but I believe in miracles. And if the miracle can work in your body for healing, it can work in your finances for money. I command miracle money to come to you. I command financial open doors to come to you. I command financial favor to come to you. In the name Jesus the Lord says to tell that person you will not lose your job you will not lose your job at the right time you will resign for a better job receive it in the name of Jesus whatever matter has been troubling your hearts I declare the troubles are over that heaviness in your heart i replace it with the garment of praise in the name of the lord jesus 
in the name of the Lord Jesus that person that had been difficult to deal with listen to me when you go back to the workplace now the person will become your best friend in the name of the Lord Jesus every document that needs to be signed in order for you to receive what you need I command that document to now be signed in the name of the Lord Jesus Father I thank you for answering our prayers blessed be God in the highest in Jesus name we pray put your hands together for Jesus if you have been blessed by this ministration follow Apostle John Udo on Facebook at Apostle John Udo to follow on YouTube type John Udo Ministries if you need prayer counseling deliverance or follow-up call plus two three four eight zero six zero three six one four two one plus two three four eight zero six zero three six one four two one and remember all things are possible